the golden years. They're supposed to be the times we enjoy and share with our loved ones, but sometimes caring for them might feel like it requires beyond human strength. I'm Lindsay Wagner, and I'd like to introduce you to Cerna Home Care. With the most qualified, well-screened staff, Cerna offers that much-needed assistance that can help restore quality of life. Whether you need a little help or a complete care program, call Cerna Home Care or visit CernaHomeCare.com. Welcome back, folks, and uh, we have a couple folks from Cerna Home Care, and one of them you certainly recognize, uh, Lindsay Wagner. Nice to have you here. It's Thank a pleasure to meet you, and uh, we were just talking right uh, before we got on that uh, you're still doing quite a lot of work. I was looking online here, and um, you've been working for quite a while, and it's nice to see that all the different projects you still have going on. And uh, I don't want to forget Nick over here. Nick Paisant, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to uh, meet you. Cerner Home Care. Welcome to the both of you. And, um, you know, as I said here, uh, you've been doing a lot. And people obviously remember you from The Bionic Woman, but you were also on many shows before that, Marcus Welby and all kinds of things like that. And what have you been doing uh, since then? As far as you've been doing a lot of acting. Yeah, I, I did. Well, over 40 television movies and miniseries and all kinds of things. So um, probably our audience here is familiar with a lot of that. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I've also, in my personal life, I've spent a lot of time uh, working with myself and learning about the integration of body, mind, and spirit. Mm -hmm. And I just found I had a real propensity for sharing that with people. So for many years now, I've been giving workshops and retreats all around the world actually um, they're very experiential it's, I call them quiet the mind and open the heart and it's just been a wonderful experience to be able to directly communicate with my audience because my films most of the films that I did for me I was very blessed because mm -hmm. I had such a high TV cue from the bionic woman yeah you know that I could do a lot of movies that they didn't want to do on TV but because I wanted to do them and I you know I had the visibility they allowed mm -hmm. me to try things and so I was able to do movies about social issues and communicate and things that were important to me yeah. through, through my films. And now that I've kind of shifted into doing some more direct communication with people and sharing the things that have really helped me in my life, I, um, that's been really fun for me. That's been really great. So I give anywhere from three hours to six day retreats. Wow. And uh, yeah, been I think we've over. seen over the past few years, and we've had a, a few people on our show in the past that have talked about this, that I guess the key word is wellness. Uh, however you want to put that, where many years ago we didn't think of that way. Right. You, got, you either got sick or you got ill or you needed something and uh, you either weren't prepared for it or it wasn't about just keeping you well. It was about fixing a problem. So it was reactive rather than proactive. So you've been proactive for quite a while because I've seen you in other things that you've done and you've talked about this. Right. Yeah, right. it's, a, it's um, the, the whole thing about opening the heart and, and all, it, uh, it, it makes a lot of sense. And uh, one of the things you've become involved in is uh, CERNA. How did you become involved uh, with their uh, care facilities? Well, actually, Nick and his company, they approached me with, because they were aware, I guess. He'd probably be better to answer that question than I. But they approached me because they knew about my... Uh, relationship and the work that I was doing mm -hmm. with wellness and that's what CERN is about and that's why I got excited about working with them because they approach home care with the, the concept of, of wellness not mm -hmm. just kind of glorified babysitting it was like here's a human being and they have so many needs internally and emotionally and and um, I, I mean, I'd love to let Nick talk about their approach, yeah, but sure. that excited me so much to see a company that cared beyond what you call, I guess, custodial care. Right. That's what I think. That's what it used to always be referred to—a yeah, custodial I mean, care facility. Yeah. Right. Which so sounds I, like 
you're cleaning something or whatever. Well, and it's not know, about that. It's taking care of the yeah. basics to make sure yeah. that you know you stay alive and you get fed. But to to really approach like everything else in our culture is finally starting to look even medicines and and wellness comes about because they're starting to look at a hum the whole human being. Mm -hmm. the body and the mind and the spirit you know? right and so nick and his co people in his company approach it like that and i just i was so impressed that you well, nick, i i've looked over uh, i went on um your website the other day cerna home care mm -hmm. and uh, you have a lot of different facilities uh, from orange county all the way into uh, the phoenix and uh, dallas as well all the different services that uh, you folks provide uh, in home care personal care and memory care nursing care, video monitoring, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. It's really a, a total package. So with all these different packages, is the first thing that you do when you, you sit down with someone, maybe it's a family member that's mm -hmm. concerned about a loved one, and uh, you would evaluate what their situation is and what may work for them. Yeah, exactly. We do an in-home assessment. And from that assessment, we're really trying to determine what is it they need. Mm -hmm. um, some people just need a little bit of help around the house. Some people need a lot. And really, uh, to expand on, on why we brought Lindsay into the fold is our, uh, our goal is really complete wellness, not just to come in and make meals and, and uh, help around the house and maybe do some errands, although we do that very well. Mm -hmm. It's also to integrate wellness so that when we come in that home, uh, that we're, we're altering that person's life for the better. We're making them independent, not necessarily more dependent on the, on the system, on medications, mm -hmm. on the hospitals, on the doctors. We really want them to become independent and well. Right, and um, there are a lot of different aspects to that, uh, certainly. What are the, um, the, the type of uh, training that the folks that you have work for you what type of training do they go through? With all these different services you have, I imagine sure. it's, it's very well defined. Depends on a lot, one. depending yeah. on the service. But the typical service would be what we call level one. And mm -hmm. that would be somebody who comes in the home and helps with meals, bathing, grooming, uh, light housekeeping, any of what's called the ADLs, activities of daily living. Uh, that person has a year's experience in the industry. They're trained with transfers so they know how to move people without hurting them. Mm -hmm. um, they're trained with uh, uh, what we call cognitive stimulation how to cognitively stimulate somebody, mobility, a little bit of physical mobility mm -hmm. because generally they're working with a physical therapist who may or may not be coming into the home. And uh, we have a full criminal background check, um, uh, workman's comp insurance, full insurance, uh, and uh, uh, t typical uh, uh, shots and things like that would be tuberculosis. And, mm -hmm. and Which sure is, a, you know, you mentioned something about, um, I think I find very, very important nowadays as far as uh, the way your, your, the people that work for you are, um, have the training and uh, they also have the background, but more importantly, they work for you. So many of the home care uh, places, uh, well, a lot of them that are out there, uh, the people are basically, they're contracted out. You call them, they send somebody out. And so what happens is the individual, the person that needs the care, if they fall at your home, if the worker, the employee, falls at the home or something happens, uh, the, uh, the person living there, the client, is, can be liable for that. And that becomes quite a big problem where a service like yours, they don't have to worry about that. Yeah. And uh, as we know, this is an industry that over really the past few years is just becoming um, a little bit more regulated for years, well, but even today. Somebody can just say, yeah, I deal in home care and right. send somebody out. Is this why you became involved with Cerner, just because their level of care Absolutely. and their... Absolutely. It's something that's, that's huge. It's a business that's getting bigger and bigger. We mm -hmm. are the baby boomers yeah. and our parents and then us. And it's, it's just exponentially growing mm -hmm. beyond whatever it, what it ever used to be. Yeah. Have you had to and deal with this with a, a friend my or a family well, member? Well, my father before he he passed. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom, forget it. She's the ever ready bunny. She'll be. <laughs> I have a hard time keeping up with my mom, but um, but yes. I mean, and and this was many years ago. That was I don't know, maybe fifteen years ago. Mm -hmm. So things have changed a lot. The, there's 
because well, in any business, in any industry, keeping up with an exponential growth is yeah. very tough. Yeah. And that leaves a lot of room for a lot of nonsense. Yes. You know? So, because all of a sudden there's this huge demand and there's not enough uh, to take care of it. Mm -hmm. And so for me to, to put my energy and my visibility um, and my trust actually that I have a lot uh, with the audience, which has been very, you know, loving and supportive to me throughout mm -hmm. my career, um, to, to put that on, on, with a company, it's, it's very important to me. Yeah. And for me to feel like doing that, it's because I want to proliferate the essence of what's going on right. with this company. Because yeah. hopefully they will become the models for, for how this can be done mm -hmm. and still make money. Because that's usually where it goes wacky. Yeah. Because people are just focused on making money with it. And, and I feel that Cerna is, uh, and Nick's people are, are, are combining those two. You know, the quality yeah. and the gift that they're bringing to the world as well as, as uh, making, the a, making a living. And that's, you know, we should. We do. That's, yeah. that's what we're about. And that's okay. You know... Uh, it's very hard for a loved one to take care of someone else, and e even as you said, you know, with your your, your dad passed away f uh, years ago, but your mom is the ever ready <laughs> energizer bunny. Uh, but on the other hand, if they have to, someone with a lot of energy has to take care of a loved one, a spouse. It can it can uh, deteriorate a situation very very quickly. No matter how much you love a person. To, be have, to have to take care of another adult, someone who for years you may have share, you shared your life with and uh, you were all, um, you know, you were upbeat, you were doing all your activities and now the day comes when all of a sudden you have to take care of them much like you had to take care of your, your kids when they were little. It can be daunting, it can be frustrating, but having a company like Cerna that comes in and takes away that burden and allows the two, the two individuals to just enjoy each other. Maybe the memory is fading for one of them. So those, those moments should be, should be pleasurable as much as possible and the burden taken, lifted. And that's something that with all your different services you have here uh, that uh, Cerna Home Care does. Yes. Yeah, dynamics, you hit it on the head. Family dynamics, spells of the dynamics don't make for good care. We don't mm -hmm. know 100% why. In fact, there's a lot of different studies and there's a lot of data you can read on that, but rarely do you see spouses providing good care for spouses and not because they don't love them. We, we know they do, especially we, we love our families. We want to provide the best care for them, but we often see that go awry pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And bringing a, a, a third party or a third person in to provide that care will quickly uh, kind of regenerate that great relationship that they had in the past, and that's what we try to do. When that starts yeah. happening, when that process begins, uh, there's so many emotions involved by the caregiver. Yeah. You have your whole identity and relationship starts to change, and that's a huge exponential growth. And when we're going through any growth spurt, it's uncomfortable. It's you know, it's awkward, and so now you're having to take a very critical role mm -hmm. and change your whole being in the dynamic of your relationship, I think is from my perspective as a, yeah. you know, as a, as a counselor, so to speak, yeah. um, and the work that we do, it's shifting perspectives is not easy. So you're also having to let go of what you've had. Yeah. You're, you're trying to deal with that at the same time, learn new skills, learn new ways of things that you have to do. It's, it's a very challenging thing. Yeah. And I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just what it is. The other thing that I like, and I don't know if other companies do this or not, but it, it impressed me that the people, the caregivers that work with Cerna have to um, turn in a weekly report on their client and mm. the company goes over that. And that information is fed back to the family or whoever mm -hmm. is, you know, so that you are always, you as a, as a family member, or as a spouse or whatever, is, is, uh, are kept up to date on what's happening, but also, um, I don't know if you want to address that a little bit about how you deal with when they turn in that report, if they don't see the, some progression or at least a good hanging in there, things start to decline. And we use a scoring method. And when we talk about wellness, it's easy to talk about. But if everybody's not accountable to that wellness, it won't happen. So we utilize scoring 
um, and then we, we make sure that we're always putting the kind of things in, in, into our care and into the mm -hmm. home that we're seeing progression on a continual basis. Yeah. The only, again, the only way to make sure that we're, we're all accountable to that wellness is to have some way to measure it on a, an incremental basis. Yeah, I think that's, that's really important. And something that you Which touched it also, on. It also helps them monitor if their caregiver is doing the right thing or not. Yeah. Right. And it's not just how's he doing or she doing. It's how are you doing? Right. Because you're there, the one that's supposed to be. Yeah, but on. you touched on just a second ago, I thought was very important, you, the phrase of you're letting go of something that once was. Yeah. We've all gone through that. Uh, my mom passed away about a year and a half ago, but you know, you, over the last 10 years of her life, it's, she's not, she wasn't the spry person she used to be. That, you know, that's all normal things, and it's, I think it's normal for um, uh, the children to see their parents or grandparents, but when it is somebody you had shared possibly 50, 60 years of your life with, right. all of a sudden, you need, you have to kind of let go of next month isn't quite like it was the month before. Next year is not going to be like it was last year. And that reality sinks in that, wow, this person is, is, uh, needs, needs uh, more help than I can give them. You know, that, that can be quite devastating. But uh, with your uh, wellness program, with all the different programs that CERNA offers, uh, you can really help out with them. And um, I have a number for you to call. It's 877-57-CERNA, very easy uh, to remember. If you forget that, just uh, go online, just put CERNAHomeCare.com and you'll find them. Thank you both for coming on today. Lindsay, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for having us. And uh, remind people that uh, you're still doing a lot of work, so yeah. look for you. Just, uh, it's very easy nowadays to find out what somebody's Isn't doing. It? Yeah. <laughs> it is a little scary, right? Yeah. All right, and Nick, thank you. I'm sure we'll see you again. Great, thanks for inviting right. us. Take, take care to the both of you. We'll be back in just a moment. The golden years, they're supposed to be the times we enjoy and share with our loved ones, but sometimes caring for them might feel like it requires beyond human strength. I'm Lindsay Wagner, and I'd like to introduce you to CERNA Home Care. With the most qualified, well-screened staff, CERNA offers that much-needed assistance that can help restore quality of life. Whether you need a little help or a complete care program, call CERNA Home Care or visit CERNAHomeCare.com.